In this video we're going to look at dividing fractions. So here we have 4 fifths divided by 3 sevenths. So this will become 4 fifths multiplied by. Now we can't just change from divide to multiply without some sort of payback, some compensation. And our compensation is that the second fraction we need to invert or turn upside down or the more mathematical term is take the reciprocal. So this becomes 4 7 is a 28, 5 3 is a 15. That's an impr improper fraction, so 15 goes into 28 once, and there'll be 13 fifteenths left over. Now, moving on to the next question. This time we've got mixed numbers. And uh, so we need to make those improper fractions. 4 7s are 28, and 2 makes 30 over 7. Divide by 1 5 is 5, and 4 is 9 over 5. And that will become 30 over 7 multiplied by the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is 5 ninths. Now we can look for some cancelling. Now that we've got this into a multiplication example, we can cancel top and bottom just like we learnt in the last video. So this time 3 will go into 30 and 3 will go into 9. So 3 goes into 30 10 times and 3 goes into 9 3 times. And that's the extent of our cancelling. So 5 tens are 50 over 7 threes are 21. So 21 will go into 50 twice, so that's two holes, and there will be eight 21sts left over. In the next question, we've got an improper fraction, and we have a negative number to deal with as well. So this is negative 4 fifteenths, divide by 3 fives are 15, and 1 16 on 5, which will turn into a multiplication because we're really good at multiplying and that is quite easy to do. So we took the reciprocal of the second fraction and multiplied. This time we can see that we can do some simplifying or cancelling and 5 goes into 5 once and 5 goes into 15 three times, 4 goes into 16 four times and 4 goes into negative 4 negative 1 times. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 on 3 4s at 12. Okay, and the last question. How many 2 7ths in 1 and 7 ninths? Very strange question, but it's basically a division. So what we're really being asked here is 1 and 7 ninths divided by 2 7ths. When we think about it, how many... 2 sevenths are there in 1 and 7 ninths? Well, it's pretty hard to guess, but 3 lots of 2 sevenths is 6 sevenths, and if we doubled that, we'd go fairly close to 2, which is what this is. So my guess right now is that our answer will be around 6. But let's see what it turns out to be. 1 9 is 9, and 7 is 16, so that's 16 on 9, divided by 2 sevenths. Now let's turn that into a multiplication, and our trade-off is we have to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 7 on 2. Not a lot of cancelling here, but there is a little bit. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 16 8 times. 7 eighths are 56 over 9. How many 9s are there in 56? Well, it goes 6 times, 6 9s are 54 and two left over. And that pretty much agrees with what our thinking was before we started the question.